of Richland County lawmakers wants a state investigation into Richland District 1. Today they called for the governor to get the state inspector general involved because they say there has been mismanagement in the district. This comes after the backlash from some parents and teachers over the transfer of some teachers to other schools. News 19's Cassidy Byer tells us more. An orange envelope was the topic of discussion Tuesday afternoon at the State House during a press conference held by five Richland County state lawmakers. Inside was a request to Governor Henry McMaster to call for the State Inspector General to look into Richland School District 1. We have had hundreds of parents, teachers, and constituents reach out to our offices complaining of the district's dysfunction. According to lawmakers, the last straw was the recent decision by Richland to reassign 11 teachers just 45 days into the academic year. Richland 1 said the move was necessary to get proper student-teacher ratios in classrooms, and the transfers are a normal part to the school year. But some parents were upset and have been making an effort on their own to gain the attention of lawmakers. Efforts like a petition asking for more funding transparency from the district. Josh Parks said the petition has over 700 signatures. Right now, I just want to create a conversation about how we're spending the money. Where, where is our money going and what return on investment are we getting for that? Not all Richland County lawmaker representatives believe they need to get involved. Representative Todd Rutherford wasn't able to speak on camera today, but told WLTX the lawmakers asking for the investigation are overpromising on what they can control within the school district, saying it's the job of elected school board members to fix the issues, not that of lawmakers. Richland One issued a statement late Tuesday afternoon. They said teacher reassignments happen every year and they are working to improve their process and welcome the feedback they've received. They said allegations of mismanagement and misappropriation of funds are unfounded. They add an audit done just last year found some faults in the district, but no significant concerns. Cassidy Byer, News 19, WLTX. We did reach out to the governor's office on this issue. A spokesperson from McMaster said while the governor shares the concerns over teacher reassignments, he does not believe that a threshold for an investigation has been met.